Hello, uh, Happy New Year and welcome to the weekly review uh, for the first week of January the year 2021. Uh, on December 30th, uh, that's last uh, Wednesday, President uh, Kira appointed uh, Deputy Governors for six states out of uh, the ten states of South Sudan. And uh, some of the uh, nominees who are from uh, the other political parties, which is part of the Revitalized Peace Agreement, have not been appointed. And uh, there are reports that that was due to uh, disagreements within the other uh, political parties. Today joining me from Juba via Zoom is the spokesperson of the OPP, the other political parties. And uh, he is Albino a call attack. Welcome to the weekly review, uh, Albino. Thank you, um, brother. And uh, thank you for your also viewers for this um, uh, program. I really appreciate that you people there are also concerned about South Sudanese uh, politics. So <clears throat> I thank you very much for that. Yes, uh, you are most welcome. And uh, our audience would like to know, and the people around the world would like to know, what exactly is the problem? Because there are reports uh, saying that it is because there are disagreements uh, on the issue of the list of the OPP that are nominated uh, to become uh, deputy governors. Yes, um, to be honest uh, for you and your viewers, uh, some of these reports are not in place. Um, as you all know, that the revitalized agreement, which OPP is part of that uh, agreement, uh, 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 describe what is OPP specifically. If you go to Article 1.3.1.5, uh, this article describes what is OPP. And then if you go to page 78, where parties to the agreement sign, you will go and get that OPP has signed uh, by six signatories, not one signatory. So this actually um, uh, tells you that OPP uh, is, a, is a collusion, has many political parties, and these political parties, it is only six parties that have, six signatories that have signed on their behalf. That means uh, the OPP have decided not to have a single leader. Uh, they have six signatories that compose their leadership. So it is these six people that when there is a decision of OPP, they sit down, they agree, and then they take a collective decision. And this decision is actually signed by all of them. This is the reality. Now, when we came to um, uh, issues of the states, of course, agreement was not clear about the structure and whatever of the state. So the, the parties to the agreement form a high level committee to actually sit down and agree. And this was done between um, August or it is even started from earlier uh, July, August and September. They finalized it almost uh, um, earlier October. Mm -hmm. When it is finished, then the OPP uh, call themselves the leaders or the six signatories, call themselves so that they agree on how to allocate the position that have been given to them in the states. In the process, one signatory decided not to join his colleagues. And this one signatory specifically is Honorable uh, Peter Mayan Majongit. He refused to join his colleagues in about three meetings. When, when it was very, it became very clear that he will not join them, uh, the five signatories went ahead to distribute first the deputy governors because they were given three deputy governors mm -hmm. and they, 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 they sat down to uh, distribute those three deputy governors. In the process, they considered, of course, as I told you, there are six signatories, they considered the national ministry that was allocated to them and has been taken by Peter Mayan. Then the deputy national ministry, 
that was also taken by Honorable Martin Taco. And then from the six signatories remain only four signatories. So they said for a fair distribution, the remaining four signatories will now divide the three deputy uh, uh, governors. So the three deputy governors were, was actually uh, distributed among the, th the, the, the rest of the four signatories. Uh, sure. And the decision was actually reached and the decision was signed by five. He refused, he refused this distribution because he had uh, another opinion. And later on, it was very clear that he claimed that he's a leader of OPP. Yeah, and, and uh, that is actually the one uh, uh, quoted by iRadio, uh, where he said that it is him who signed the agreement on behalf of OPP, and it is he uh, himself who negotiated the power sharing on behalf of OPP and, and all those claims, which are not uh, really factual as far as the agreement is concerned, because even the agreement clearly uh, has the signature of the other six, uh, the other five leaders. That is true. That is true. So what he said on Radio Mirai yesterday was a purely lie because, uh, as I told you, everybody can refer to the agreement. The agreement was negotiated on behalf of OPP by six. This is why they signed six. So it is not him alone. And if it was him alone, why would he did not sign uh, uh, on, on behalf of the rest? That is that is that is the meaning of it. So, what he said yesterday is is lie. Is just uh, confusing the public. Is not telling the truth. Uh, it is not him who negotiated, who negotiated on behalf of OPP. It is these uh, six signatories, and there is no leader. There is no leader of OPP. The leadership of OPP is collectively being run by the six signatories. When they sit, this is the leadership. So he claimed that to be a leader. And, and we are wondering who gave him that uh, title? Because now if you are a leader of a group of people, it is those people to give you that leadership. But if they are saying that there is nothing like that, where are you getting this uh, title from? So he was just confusing people as usual because he has been confusing people. Now, so, uh, uh, now uh, are, there, are there efforts uh, being made to solve those internal problems within the parties that make up uh, the OPP? I'm coming to that because I want to confirm that there is no conflict. It is only one person oh. uh, who has a different idea altogether with his colleagues. So as I said, uh, in the process, he, he, he refused to join his colleagues. He claimed that he's a leader. So he went and said somewhere after these <laughs> five signatories um, have decided and actually submitted a list. Let me say that uh, the OPP has submitted a list of deputy governors on 18th October, on 18th October, and it was actually, actually addressed to, to, to the president through the, 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 the chairman of the committee, high level committee that was working on this. So it was already there in the office of the president since all this time. When people came for appointment, this is where the confusion came in. And I will have to tell you sincerely what happened. So when, when the president wanted to appoint all the deputy governors, except the deputy governor of Upper Nile, because this is the agreement of the presidency that for, for nine states will have to go ahead. When the president wanted to appoint and he picked the list that signed by five um, uh, signatories, then Honorable Tut Galwak, uh, the presidential advisor on national security affairs came with the list, uh, another list from Peter Mayen. Mm -hmm. He came to the president and he said that this is the, the list that was brought by uh, uh, Peter Mayen and it should be considered. So those who were around the president said, no, this process have already been explained long time ago and Peter has no right in, in the deputy governors. So they argue, they argue until Tut said that president give me a time so that I go and, 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 and negotiate with these people. So this is why the other day, the, 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 uh, the, the presidential advisor was given a time to come and contact us. To answer your question, whether there is efforts uh, to solve this problem, yes, it is Tut who is now leading this. Although 
the rest of OPP leaders are not convincing because the prerogative of uh, nominating and making a decision is actually uh, for OPP leaders. But we are surprised that the, the, the outsiders are now coming in to correct what the OPP has uh, actually decided. This is the surprise. So now he has, took, he has taken it upon himself to mediate between OPP. Although OPP are saying that there is nothing, there is no disagreement because it is just a fair distribution. When we say that one, one signatory, one signatory who has already taken a ministerial position has no right to come and take another deputy governor, which is a senior, uh, I mean, position, we are actually referring to a fairness in distribution. So he took him, he took it upon himself now to mediate. He called for us, he called for leaders of OPP. And when we went there, we informed him that this is a decision of OPP. And this decision has taken in consideration a lot of uh, factors, including uh, the six signatories. So there is no way here we can change anything. It is, this is a decision of OPP. He said, okay, let us call in uh, Peter Mayan. We said, Peter Mayan, we have been waiting for him almost two months. When we call him, he doesn't come. When we say, okay, if you are busy, send your representative. He doesn't send his representative. He said, no, I will call him now for to meet to come and meet you. We said, okay, let him come. We are not fearing him because this is the fact. He, he attempted to allow us to meet together with Peter Mayan almost four times. Peter refused to come to the meeting. So what I want to say is that there is no disagreement in OPP affairs. The nomination has already been done long time ago uh, based on fairness, and it has already been submitted to the president, and there is no differences on this. What is there is the greediness of one signatory of OPP claiming to be a leader of OPP, a, a claim that has no actually where to be proved. So this is what is happening. Now, how do we do it? Mm -hmm. Can we leave can we leave a decision of six people in the hand of one person? And the same person is not authorized to do that. If he was to, author, to have been authorized, would have been at, at least, um, uh, I mean, making sense, but it has, he has not been authorized to do that. So can we leave this decision in the hand of that person? And when we are looking at what he has already submitted, the list that he has submitted, we will go and find that those people whom he nominated are not actually members of OPP. Most of them are family members, the way he did it before. He did so a lot you, of- So you, 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 know, you know the nominees he has, and uh, they're different, so different, not, not only slightly different, but very different entirely from what you have as the other members. It is true. It is different from what we have. And if you look at those uh, personalities, you cannot even find them within the OPP parties because in the OPP there is parties. And those, and those members of those parties, almost a lot, of, a lot of them or all of them are known to OPP. So if you are bringing somebody from that party, definitely the rest of the colleagues in the other parties will know who is this person, especially when you are nominating a person to a senior position like deputy governor. So you cannot bring somebody, uh, the rest does not know him. And exactly this is what happened. He went and brought uh, people home, even we don't know them. They are not even, part, uh, I mean, members of these uh, political parties. But what we knew later on is that they are related to one way or another to his family, or they are just friends, or even, they are members of other political parties, or let's say from the ruling party even, because uh, the, the lady that he nominated to be a deputy governor of Warabi State is actually a, a, a wife of his uncle. And that uncle plus his wife are all members of SPLM, you see? And then when you come to Central Equatorial, you get the same scenario. You go to Northern Bargazal, all of them are relatives or let's say friends. So what is the reason? What is the reason? Because we are now saying we are implementing the agreement and the agreement, the spirit of the agreement is actually inclusivity. If somebody wants to exclude others, 
then what we are doing is not agreement, is it something else? And this is why we are saying, the rest of OPP are saying, mm -hmm. if this agreement is only, is, is, is only meant to be implemented with Peter Mayan alone, leaving the rest of the signatories away, then the, less, the rest of signatories will, will left with no option except to withdraw from the agreement because now, they, they uh, are now, not... Now, uh, now, sir, now, now uh, before you go to that, you see, this, I, you say it is not disagreement, it's only one party who is uh, refusing uh, to accept the uh, resolution of the rest of the members. What about on uh, other positions? Because this is just about deputy governors, which are the two or three uh, uh, nominees supposed to be from the deputy. What about from the OPP? What about uh, the other positions that have been given to the OPP, like members of the national legislature and members of the of the uh, legislatures at the state level, are you seeing that you are not going to have the same scenario, or so far you already have agreement on those positions? Yes, uh, we were actually talking about the deputy governors, which uh, is a little bit different from the rest of the position because we have concentrated our our fairness on the six signatories, mm -hmm. and if they are six then we have six uh, senior positions, starting from two ministries, the minister and the deputy minister, and then the three deputy governors, plus the third deputy is speaker in parliament. This, if you, I mean, adding them up, they will make it six. And this six, what we said is that this six goes to the six signatories. First, these are the senior position. So if Mayan, has taken the ministry, and mm -hmm. then Martin Taco has taken the deputy minister. Then the rest of the four takes three deputy governors and uh, deputy speaker in the National Legislative Assembly. This is, it, it is separate. This is something separate. When we come to the other positions, let's start from the states. From the states, we have ministers, we have members of our assemblies, we have even the commissioners, the local government authorities. Now, in the process, I told you that the, the, the OPP called a meeting several times and Peter Mayan refused. The only signature. Hello? Internet interruption? Yes, yes, welcome back. Uh, that, was, that was internet interruption. We have the other, we have the other um, positions in the states. Now, when we were actually conducting these meetings to agree on mechanism or formula for distribution, he actually, as I told you, he refused to join his colleagues. What happened is that his colleagues uh, decided to go ahead and they agree on the formula. And this formula includes even him. So when people distributed, which, is, which was very fair, then uh, people went ahead to nominate. His position that was allocated to him was left empty. And even the submission that was done uh, for the comprehensive uh, positions in the states. Let us talk about the states. His position that was allocated to him was left empty. And the submission was done on, based on that. For him, later on, if he is convinced, then he will go and just submit or fill those empty positions that was left to him. So this is the mechanism that ha happened. And it was very fair because... Uh, we don't want to. We don't want to oppress one of these uh, signatories. So, because for us not to delay the formation of the government in the states, this is how these people did it. They actually distributed all these positions fairly, and then the rest who were present nominated. It is uh, it is him alone who did not nominate it. So the the, the comprehensive list was submitted to the president with his positions empty. He will fill them later on. This is uh, uh, what happened. When we come to the national, the same thing also was done. Uh, we have, as you know, uh, we have only 30 seats in the national legislature. I mean, TNLA. Uh, this seat, we have just distributed also fair. And again, his position was also left empty. And it was because it was very clear that he doesn't want to join us. He doesn't want uh, to join us. Then also the Council of Estates, which we have already 
only four, according to our percentage, because the, the, the Council of State is composed of about 50 members. If you calculate 8% of OPP, you will get only four uh, positions. These four positions also was also uh, distributed also fairly uh, and to compensate those who miss uh, the other position. So this is how what happened. This is how we did it as OPP. So his position was actually left empty for him to come and fill them uh, up later on. Now, in this scenario, yeah. you can ask yourself, what could be the reason for him to abandon his colleagues? What could be the, the, the motives? Later on, we found out that he's actually being supported by the individuals in the IT corner. So he knew that he will find his own way to go in. The way he did it the other day when the formation of cabinet of Articon was, was done. The same thing, the leaders of OPP sat down and actually they nominated a different person, but he got his way with the help of some individuals within, within the Tigono, he got his way and got appointed. <coughs> Sorry. So it is the same way that he wanted to use. And it has, it, it has become very clear that it is Honorable Toot who is now supporting him because it is Toot later on who, who went and brought his list to the president. Nobody else. It is him. So we are now 100% sure that it is Honorable Toot who is behind him. And it is sometimes he says that. He, he tells us that, uh, brothers, even if you disagree with me, it is what I say that will, will go through because I have Honorable Toot on my side. I have Hussein Abdel Baghi, the, the, the vice president, in my side, and some individuals within the, the IT gone. So it is very clear that the affairs or the problem in OPP is actually caused by outsiders, the interference of other, uh, I mean, the individual, other political parties within the OPP affairs. You can see now. Now, now, uh, now you, you, uh, Peter Mayen comes from, uh, uh, the Federal Democratic Party, MDP? No. no, no, not Federal Democratic Party, but uh, you not, uh? umbrella. The umbrella within the umbrella, he has party called PLP, PL, PL, yeah, People's Liberal Party, yeah. the, the People's Liberal Party. And uh, now I would like to know which party do you come from? Uh, from within uh, the, the OP, I'm coming from African National Congress ANC. 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 Now, uh, under uh, uh, in a conventional uh, uh, political parties laws, you find such disagreements are handled through uh, legal processes, like having a political parties council, uh, which we have in the country uh, an equivalent of. But still, there are some of the reforms stipulated in the agreement that ought to be done to the political parties act, and until you get uh, to a reformed political parties council and, and all those. Now, in the absence of all this, and now you have these disagreements, which you, sometimes people in the government try to negotiate among you and all this. Uh, what, how, how hopeful should the people of South Sudan be that you, the leaders, will be able to resolve the, pro the problems in the country when there are these continuous uh, confusion and, and disagreements? Uh, that, that should be your, your final message because we are, we are, we are winding up. How, what are the hopes for the people of South Sudan in this situation? Yes, there is a um, uh, political parties council. And when I talk about uh, um, OPP, within the OPP, if you go to the parties that are in OPP, it is only four political parties that are registered within the OPP. The rest are not registered. And this is where confusion comes from. Because somebody who has not been legally authorized to do politics are now doing it and they are actually confusing because these people are not following the law. And this, what, this is the disadvantage within this agreement because the agreement actually recognizes anybody who says that he's a party. You can see one person can say, I'm a party, and he gives himself a name and then get into negotiations. And later on, became, became a part of that agreement. Be, without even being authorized by the law. This is the problem that we are in. Now, even himself, Peter Mayen, with his party, is not registered, okay? 
And now he's causing a confusion within political parties. A lead, leaders of political parties will actually have a way of compromise if all of them, yeah, yeah, I, I mean, went through the process of registration because they will they will be responsible because they are they have followers. Anybody or any political parties who, who manage to register, that means he has followers. So that person will actually behave responsibly. But somebody who did not experience registration, that means he has no people on, uh, behind him. So he can just behave randomly like that. So this is the confusion that we are in. But when we let, if we come to OPP affairs within the context of the agreement, the agreement has given us a, a, a legal framework, framework how to resolve our differences. The, 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 the mechanism is simple, is consensus. When people sit down within the context, let's say of OPP, we will sit down and have our consensus and agree. But the problem, the problem is that there is a heavy, actually, uh, let's say recruitment from the giant parties. And we mean here, IT Gono. IT Gono is recruiting people from these parties to the agreement, including even from SOA, they are, they are recruiting. They are now considering some people to, to be their friends and they are supporting them. Whatever they say, it will go. It will go. It's about uh, influence, influence through uh, money and power to yeah. com compromise the leaders. That is true. That is true. There is, there is influence. So to come to your question, mm -hmm. uh, in this situation, it is difficult for us to ascertain that we can resolve our differences because it is difficult for us to sit together and discuss and come out with the, with the, with the solutions. Because one of these people, like Peter Mayan, for instance, he ran away from his colleagues because he gets help from the other people. Now, this, this person, you cannot convince him to come and sit down because he has uh, where he can be helped outside. So in this situation, we are actually saying that it will be difficult for OPP to solve their own problems. It will go like that always. Later on, some of these political parties within OPP, if they find that there is no hope in, in this agreement, they will just withdraw from the agreement, simply. So we are not assuring, I mean, public that we will definitely solve our problem in this situation, unless intervention from outside is now stopped. So, uh, if you come to, if you come to, finally, uh, uh, finally, uh, in in uh, in one minute, uh, uh, finally, how could the people of South Sudan help you resolve those problems or support you? How could the people, the general public, help you? In what ways? Yeah, we, want, we want, we want them, we want them just to follow the agreement. And they should not accept something which is out of the agreement. And if they find anybody, all the parties that have signed agreement, anybody who is now going outside of the agreement, they should actually condemn that act and they should actually uh, stop, stop that. This is what we want. We want them not to listen to the liars. We want them to confirm what they hear with what is in the agreement. This is what we want them to to help us yeah. because now there is a heavy recruitment even within the public. Public are now listening to those people that uh, the, the, the government is supporting them and leaving the legitimate people within the agreement. This actually will lead, will lead to the failure of the agreement. So we want public just to help us in refusing what is going contrary within the agreement and accept only what is going with, with the agreement. Albino call attack, the spokesperson of the OPP, one of the parties, in fact a coalition, which is a member of, the, uh, which is one of the signatories of the Revitalize Agreement uh, on the resolution of the conflict in South Sudan. Thank you uh, very much uh, for being on the Ultra Review. Thank you very much, and I appreciate.